let me paint a picture. You're going to church, you know, fairly new. Maybe you've been a couple years now. You go to the group. You go to the meetings, the hangouts, bro. You're you're living. You're Christian. You know, you're constantly there. You're talking to your leader all the time. Bro, you're walking in holiness, righteousness, and you're, wow, amazing Christian. But then you go home and crickets. You don't talk about God. You don't worship God. Nothing. You're living a religion. And I'm not here to tell you this to put you down. I'm here because no one told me that, you know, when I started going to church. You're living a religion when you're just relying on the church and you consider going to church as having a relationship with God. No, you're, you're not having a relationship with God. What you're living is a religion. When you come out of that and you begin to talk to God, you pray at home, and you begin to develop that relationship in intimacy with God, then you have a relationship with God. Because when you go to church and you go to the concert, eh, it's what I call the social club. You're there to be, it's rah-rah, you can do it, you have, you know, God has amazing plans for you. And we all need that. We, know, we all need to be inspired and encouraged. You go to church to find fellowship, to find other people that you can walk with, to build friendships in the faith. And that's all amazing. You know, I did that and I'm, and I'm grateful for my friends because those friends that I initially started walking with, I still have to this day. So I'm grateful for that. And, and, and But you need to be aware that you can fall into that trap of I'm Christian because I go to church and I do all these activities and you have this sense of righteousness because you belong. And I want to tell you today that, yes, go to church and be involved. But do not think that because you do that, that you have a relationship with God. Relationship is completely different. Relationship is cultivated behind closed doors. It's when you're in with, when you develop that intimacy with God. It's when you go home Monday through Saturday. If you don't go to church during the week, but you go on Sundays, but you, but Monday through Saturday, you read the word of God. You listen to the word and, and you seek for his presence and you ask him, Lord, you know, what do you, what, what do you need me to do? What do you want from me? That is relationship. You see, when the problem is, that, and this is what happened to me, the minute that I was removed, that I removed myself from church years ago, and I, I, I started, I was going in through a transition where I started attending another church, and I realized that in that church, nobody was calling me or texting me, hey, how are you doing? I realized that church to me was like a life vest. And the minute that I removed it, I completely sunk. And that is... That's, that's one of the things that um, Francis Chan explains so beautifully and that we use church and we use all these activities and Bible studies as a life vest. But when we remove that, you know, do we sink or can we float? And I completely sunk and I, and I realized, wow, wait, I don't have a relationship with God. I was living a religion and I'm here not to point fingers at you. I'm not here to judge you, but I'm here to help you reflect and, and, and identify for yourself, like, what are you really living? Are you really living a religion or do you really have a relationship with God? And, 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 and to have a relationship with God is a beautiful thing because it needs to be your foundation. You cannot rely to see faith through the lens uh, of your leader or your, or your pastor. No, you need to be able to begin to see what God wants you to see. You need to begin to to ask God and, and be, be able to hear his voice. So my question to you today is, do you have a relationship with God? Or are you relying on other people's faith? One thing is to go to church and learn about God and know of him. But another is to go home and on a daily basis get to know him. It's a very, 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 very big difference. You get to know God in intimacy. When you go to church and you go in a concert, hey, you ex can you experience the presence of God? Absolutely. You can go to church and experience uh, the, the presence of God, but that's an emotion. And it cannot stay there. You can't stay in that emotion. And wow, this feels amazing. You can't stay in the emotion. You have to take that into what's practical and develop 
a relationship with God that's genuine and that it is birthed out of a desire to know who created you and to to know who to to know this God that has saved you to know this God that that died for you to know this God that has a future and hope for you and that's what it's all about